Celtics and the Heat. Chris Bosh, would he? Would he not? Looked ready to go. They said he would play, would not start. Here he comes. Chris Bosh comes in now, and UD will go to the bench. Again, Chris Bosh injured May 13th. Has not played since then. Let's see what he can do here. Entered the game with five minutes, six seconds to go. There's his first made shot. Little jumper off the post, and Bosch at it again. Hmm. It's Kevin Garnett. He's fired up, hadn't played in more than three weeks. He hasn't. He looked pretty good, you know, and he came out, played well. His win looked great. Uh, great sign for the Miami Heat, and also great sign for Chris Bosch. And look at Rondo with his left hand, <laughs> grabs the basketball. He goes to get it, holding his right hand is Chalmers he wanted to foul but he, uh, it's unbelievable how he there's makes this type of plays there's just nobody in the league who plays remotely like, like Rondo nobody not even close meanwhile LeBron James uh, excelling in the first half when his teammates shot a combined 27% of course as I say that he gets a shot block on the other end Rondo can't get the floater Kevin Garnett with the putback oh, a great close for Boston Matt Rondo did the right thing he let everybody pass by he unfortunately missed a shot but KG's activity got it back was able to knock that one down and then you can see the loose ball gathered up by Brandon Bass there and he slams it down so Boston got active towards the end of the second quarter got themselves back in the contest he had said at the half but Miami had its first lead at the half of this post of this series I should say Paul Pierce in the post and one were tied at 48 James no James fights for it. one on five puts it home and Miami up by two. LeBron's big enough to be counted as one and a half. Man. He is, but look at here. How can you not guard Kevin Garnett? You can see the Miami having some problems. James Jones overlaid, and that's vintage KG. KG had 10 in the third quarter. Michael Petrus. Petrus, no hesitation, knocking it down. You got to close out a little bit better, and there he is. But all that's players Keon. off the bench with 13. Keon dueling. dueling knocks down a big three. He's been knocking down a few of those, so he's uh, dueling it well. And they very nicely done. Thank and you. they finish on a 15 to 1 run to close the third quarter. Fourth quarter, James with the three. Miami up by two. Dwayne Wade, very quiet through three, but had a huge fourth quarter. Yes, he did. I mean, you, you look at it, that's Dwayne Wade. That's the flash. Look at this block, but watch Rondo direct a pass to Michael Petrus. Feet set, knocked it down again. All the little things that Rondo does. First of all, that's a big block by Dwayne Wade. Well, we Go get a it. huge swing there, Smitty. Could yes. have gone to an eight-point deficit. Instead, they're able to knock down that three-point shot, and it's only three for the Celtics. So a huge play there by Rondo. Kevin Garnett, baseline jumper is true. Here's Wade. How is it? This is just unreal. I mean. 14 of his 27 in the fourth quarter. Watch this play. They run a pick so they can get LeBron James on Paul Pierce. He sizes him up. That one back step LeBron takes is hard to recover. Yes, with his length, he got there to contest. Mm. But with Paul Pierce, you got to get up to where he has to force him to drive that basket. Made it a two-possession game. He was just 6 of 19 for his 19 shots. LeBron James, first bucket of the postseason in the final 24 seconds in a game of three points or less. Basically conceded by the Celtics. They fouled Kevin Garnett. Off the inbounds, knocks them both down. He didn't touch rim on either free throw. They hit at that point, I believe it was nine straight free throws. And then this was the last shot by Wade, down by four. Three won't go. And the Boston Celtics score the win on the road, 94 to 90. Rajon Rondo with his 39th career playoff game with 10 or more assists. That moves him past Bob Cousy to become the Celtics' all-time leader.